so yeah, plan for the day. It's uh, it's quite a nexy day, kind of continuing on from where we were yesterday, trying to get a very very fast time. Goal is one thirteen solo. It's okay. We shall rebuild. Oh wow, dude, that end, dude, that is the swift golf proc. That was crazy. Well, not too bad. Oh, speaking of, wait, my HSR procced on. The, the blue charms instead of on the Virtus book. Man, why are HSR so terrible? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, auto bow spec rapid fire is basically how you do P1 and then ricochet that guy with a Voln and then back on next. Of course, sometimes the minion lives and normally I would TP, but uh, it's the world event in a minute, so we're gonna, just, just going to continue, I think. It's alright. You know why? Because we're going to get a swift glove, glove proc at the end here. Oh, we did. And then the boss just dies. Yeah, so basically it's a 1 in 20 for that to happen. Okay, that is a nice kill. Is that a PB? I've got 119 as a PB. Okay, that's that's a that's a one tick PB actually. You can mess my Iron Man. So we're officially saving time. That one had some uh, some incidents. But oh ho ho! Incidents. Who cares about incidents? Because we just made 155 mil. Okay. Oh, come on. Dude, this is like the worst end. Dude, that had potentially like a 1 like 15 or something, I think. But I just noodled the end. Oh, we got a Pernix Cow there. That's kind of cool. Oh, I got the I got the proc. Bam. So that's what I need. Like, that, that's the ideal Zaros. It's a 1 in 20 to make that happen. I'm on PVME. Need, uh, well, you need back to back sub 125, uh, that one, but. Oh, there we go. Finally got a good phase there. That was quite nice. More of that, please. Oh, your proc. No, I didn't get a proc. Okay, but that's like potential. 17, 18, 19. Okay, it's not a PB. It's close though. Well, it's a fake PB because I reset my timer because it was wrong. Oh, that's a phase. That is a phase. And he didn't do shadows. Okay. Oh, there we go. Another item. Little Virtus Wand. So we're not doing too bad today. Three items so far. Making some uh, some decent money. Oh, maybe? Is that a skip? No, I splashed! Oh, man! Okay, so I just need transitions like that, but it's just, it's so hard to get these transitions, man. So difficult. Oh, I got the thing. No, kill it! Kill it! No! Do I even got a glove proc? Oh, that could have been like a 15 or 16, but hey, it's an 18! All right, probably call that the last kill for now. It's uh, it's getting very difficult to uh, improve on just like there's just so many fiddly things, and it's just yeah, I think we're gonna be able to uh, rancture for a bit. Okay, so we've decided that it's a good idea to switch from next to rancture for a bit, and judging by my invent, I do have some regrets. But apparently this is the easiest way to do it. So yeah, we have a ridiculous amount of things to do, courtesy of Pup, but good luck. Okay, so look, we can actually just like fight the boss. You know? Oh wait, I didn't over What no! Oh my Okay, well that doesn't count. <laughs> I'm trying to defeat him quickly, thank you very much. Maybe? What what kind of scam is that? Dude, that was 200k! Ugh. Come on. Bro, if you live on fight... 100... health. Okay, I think I got the start of that, alright. So, now, we just must spam the crits and hope that we crit a lot. Ideally. Alright, step one, get four Deathful Stacks. Step two, Dragon Skimmy. Step three, Dragon Battle Axe. Step four, build to 100. Step five, stall Incendiary Shot. Step six, go to Raksha and place down a dummy and release the Incendiary Shot. And 
we equip our bow again to Natty for free. And we build a bit of a Dren or something, and then Barge Dummy and hope for the best. Alright, let's do some Claw Spam and hope for the best. Okay, that's a lot of Claws. Dude, phase! Dude, it just ate my overpower because it didn't phase. So that's improvements. Might work. Maybe SGB, go on, please. At least let us have a P4. Hey, there we go, that's not too bad. Okay, first kill, 157. At least we're on the board, and it took 54 minutes to actually get a kill. All right, that felt like a good start. Now what we're gonna do is just crit a lot, which we almost did. Oh, we kind of did actually. Shh. Go on. Wait, this is actually good. Wait, this is actually- what the- Okay, go, 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 go! Enough. It's not quite- Dude, I'm not critting! Where is my Adren? Oh, man, where'd my damage go? It just vanished, I swear. Maybe? Okay. I mean, that's a bit slower than last time, but it worked. This. So I got two again, like what is it? There's like 20 over there, and I get like two of them. Like this is like the biggest scam ever. Okay, can I kill the boss? There we go, that's a PB, 155. So we're making some progress, 10 seconds to go. Oh, that's a nice end, holy. Okay, that was, that was cool. I just need like a better like middle, beginning and middle part, and I think we can get this. We'll see. Go go go! Please kill, 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 kill! Oh my god! Okay, well it it worked. Okay, well, I got five things that time. Oh oh, that's big. Okay, that's a PB one fifty one. All right. I would like some critical strikes. I am, oh god, this is good actually. Oh my god, I like that a lot. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Come on. Come on, where's the damage? I've lost it, I've got it back. No, it healed. Oh no, that was actually good until that happened. Okay, that felt pretty good, I would say. Let's see where it takes us. Okay, this beginning. Oh wait, this one's nice. More of that, if you don't mind. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Hey, that counts, I believe. That counts, 145, let's go. There we go, as far as PVME is concerned, if you get the timer that they want, like 145, it is okay to have like a 0.6, that is alright. So we are officially Araxa Grandmaster, that's kind of cool. Oh, go, 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 is that a PB, another kill? Oh, come on, no, it like neutered at the end, no. That's a 47, but hey, that's still a nice one. Oh, this could be good. This could be very good, go, 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 kill, kill. Kill, yes, that's a good one. Okay, 42. Now we're definitely a Grandmaster. Okay, Rakshire build. Max hit dummy. Obtain four stacks for Despot. Then Dragon Skimmy spec. Then Fury. Then Dragon Battle Axe and Surge to the Crystal. Click on the Crystal, get a Dren. And we equip our bow when we get full of Dren. And cast Incendiary Shot and click back on the Crystal. Get full Adren again, and then when we've done that, we go back into the portal, and then we go through the door, then we play the dive up a bit, target cycle, smoke cloud, the dummy, leng spec, zerk, equip bow for the last death spell stack, then a ricochet, and I hope you get lots of adrenaline, do a defensive, and then natty with your bow on, and then barge the dummy, and then walk back a bit, chaos roar, stool claws, forget to bomb bomb, and then mess up your thingy by target cycling one tick early. But yeah, that's the general gist. I just target cycle to tick early. But 
Ta-da! Simple, right? <laughs> okay, so I thought I'd do a little talk through of what I am attempting to do at next. Uh, obviously, I wasn't overly successful uh, for what I wanted, but I did get some good times, uh, so it wasn't all bad. Um, but yeah, legs here. I've got a, a clear-headed switch, so for a long anticipate at the beginning, I've got blackstone arrows for the very first auto attack before switching to full arrows after that. Uh, I've got an Eldritch, Essence of Finality, and a Dark Bow. And in terms of Relics, you want a Blessing of Het, as well as Heightened Senses, and Fury of the Small, I believe is the combo, if that's correct. Um, anyway, into the kill. So, the idea is that you anticipate uh, just after next gets the Glacies minion that she calls out. And then you Eldritch, you throw a Vom Bomb, then you auto attack with your Blackstone Arrows, switch to the Quiver, and then Bow of Lost Guardian spec, and then Rapid Fire. After that, you jump onto the minion, you chuck a Vom Bomb at it at the same time as you Ricochet, and then it should get one shot. Uh, the thing with uh, Eldritch spec though is it does more damage if you keep this as your target, so you may have to wait an extra tick before switching back, otherwise your Eldritch hits won't do as much. So we get that down, and then we frag shot the boss right there. That frag shot should be with when arrows, so it doesn't uh, splash, because full arrows have reduced accuracy and can splash. Because uh, we only, well, we, we try and use full arrows when we have abilities that enhance accuracy, such as fleeting boots, rapid fire, snipe, Nightmare Gauntlets, and uh, just special attacks in general. Now at this point, there is a skip here that you can try and do. Um, ideally, you end on either two, or sorry, one or two stacks on your bow after phase one. Unfortunately, that seemed incredibly inconsistent for me. Um, so it didn't work out that well for me. But the idea is that you end with one or two stacks, and then you, uh, you Eldritch after the phase starts then you auto attack and then dark bow then go straight to the minion and that should one shot the whole thing because you'll get a uh, bow of last guardian proc on the dark bow so you get like a triple dark bow so it does a lot of damage i didn't quite get that in this one um so i did like an ability and then the then the dark bow after which cost some time but you know it's still it still worked and same again just vulnerability and ricochet the minion and then back on next with a dazing shot and then during this part, you want to do a Ingenuity for the Humans into Smoke Cloud, and then Eldritch Peck, and then Snipe, and then a Rapid Fire, bring Next down a little bit as well. And then that gets phased onto Kruh. I want to make sure you turn red here as well before phasing, and you should do a, a Frag Shot there, which I didn't actually do, which is a bit bad of me, but I was supposed to. And then this part is a Eldritch into Snapshot. Well, Eldritch auto snapshot and then bow spec. And then on the minion, you place down some Dominion Mines uh, round about when the ice phase starts. So then Dominion Mines proc when uh, Khaleesi's becomes attackable. Uh, big odd one shot on that with uh, the Ricochet. And then when, ar when arrows after this for the rest of the fight. And we'll be doing uh, some bleeds like that. And then uh, should be a Sigil Rapid Fire, ideally. Uh, so make sure we have Eldritch up as well, very important. And then we're going to try and do a uh, Swift Glove into Greater Ricochet and get the 1 in 20 transfer proc, and I got it this time, so the HP just melted. And then kill the boss. Unfortunately this end bit took a long time, could have been like a 115 maybe. Uh, which had been 2 seconds of from what I wanted, but it was a 118 instead, so slight disaster. But that is how you kill Nex very fast. So next up we have the Rakshaw portion, the uh, next portion earlier, very much courtesy of B for the strat, and then the Rakshaw portion, uh, so this is all down to Pup for the uh, the melee mage strategy that he has created. And uh, essentially you start off, well I think I explained this earlier, but you do a uh, max hit dummy, you want to get four death spore stacks, and then a dragon skimmy. And then use Fury, and then Dragon Battle Axe as you, as you surge down to the crystal. You then want to get full Adren, then equip your bow, and then cast Incendiary Shot, and then click back on the crystal. 
So it is now stalled. And then you get full adrenaline again. You go into the portal. You go into the instance. You bladed dive up, which extends your stall. You place the dummy. You target cycle, and then smoke cloud, which releases the incendiary shot. Uh, and then you want to immediately leng spec and then zerk, and then put the bow back on, because your death spell stacks will be added by one assuming you crit i think um which will be useful for later uh oh in the quiver by the way we have uh death spores and right death spores and the hydrix bolts is what i've got ideally you'd have full arrows as well somewhere but i didn't want a quiver switch so i didn't bother with that so yeah, we do the length spec, we do the zerk, immediately switch back to the bow, so we get the death spore proc. Uh, and then what I did here was I uh, used greater ricochet to try and get some adren. Sometimes this didn't work, which was a bit annoying, but you want to get like a good chunk of adren, otherwise you kind of got a TP. Um, so got 100 adren there, and then you want to equip your bow again and then cast natural instinct. Uh, and that will proc your death spore proc, so your natural instinct is free. And then after that, you want to um, make sure you have your barge buff active. And you barge the dummy, then you walk north a bit, and you come back down. And then you chaos roar, then you uh, run away, stool dragon claws, chuck down a vom bomb. And then it's just like Raga, really. So target cycle smoke cloud, which releases the dragon claws. And then assault immediately after. And then basically just spam claws for the entirety of P1, and hope that you crit enough that you have infinite adrenaline because you have nat Natural Instinct and the Incendiary Shot buff. And then ideally, yeah, you want to phase it with just a bunch of claws, uh, maybe a Hurricane as well. Then you want to overpower just as the phasing happens, and then you switch back to Mage, Sunshine as soon as possible, get the Smoke Cloud on that now as well, a Dren Pot, and just do the magic things, you know, get the uh, Tsunami up, get the Staffs back up. And then this is the part where you just kind of pray, you just, you just need to hope that you hit enough. You chuck down an Omni Power, some some other bits and bobs. I barely got the phase in there. And now here's where we need to crit. And Vit Pot is good here as well. Disruption Shield, also useful. And just yeah, Armored Battle Stuff spam. Maybe a bit of cheeky tendrils as well. Whatever you can muster and then try and get it phased nice and quick. That was decent. It wasn't my best phase, but that was a good one. And then here, um, you chuck on you know just some, some basic spells. Maybe a Seren God Bow spec until you can sunshine again and then you just want to do the same as before just sunshine tsunami fsoa and then just do damage and that's uh that's basically the fight there's not really any uh rhyme or reason to it uh the hardest part by far is the building adrenaline at the start and then beginning the boss fight but the actual boss fight itself really not that bad just uh a bunch of rng and you just gotta you gotta keep going until it happens and it happened twice. That's pretty cool. And ideally, you know, some thingies support next to you, which they did me there, which is quite nice. Oftentimes I got two stacks. This time I got five. And there you go. And that's how you kill Raksha in one minute 42. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed me uh, trying to go fast. So thank you for watching. And I will see you again soon.